Hi friends, this is Santanam from Smart Leaders IS. In this video, we will be looking at the editorials which came on the 28th of February. The article that we are going to look at is titled Cornered by the Quad. This is an article which talks about the formation of the Quad Alliance. The four countries which are present in the Quad are India, US, Japan and Australia. And the formation of this alliance with regards to countering Chinese maneuvers in the Indo-Pacific region. So the article actually deals specifically towards how the Quad Alliance can uh, counter China's Belt and Road Initiative. First, let's look at how the four countries are actually counterbalancing the Belt and Road Initiative. They oppose the BRI and they are working to establish a joint regional infrastructure scheme as an alternative to the Belt and Road Initiative. They will present their own model and they will clearly underline the differences between their model with the Belt and Road Initiative because they explicitly state that the Belt and Road Initiative could possibly be a debt trap laid out by the Chinese government. So countries which are involving in the Belt and Road Initiative could possibly end up surrendering their sovereignty to China and more importantly for those countries which are actually skeptic about the Belt and Road Initiative and view this uh, initiative as a top-down opaque and self-serving project which serves only the Chinese aspirations will need credible alternatives and the alternatives which is provided by the Quad countries could actually help them in switching them from BRI initiative to the Quad-led infrastructure initiative. So why are these countries opposing BRI? India has been the strongest opposer of the Belt and Road initiative because of the China-Pakistan economic corridor which is a part of the Belt and Road Initiative and it uh, see, you can see here it travels through the Pakistan occupied Kashmir. So India says that it is a sovereignty issue and China should not be infringing upon its territory, the Pakistan occupied territory which India claims as its integral part. Japan on the other hand has laid down specific conditions with regards to its participation in the BRI and it's also and it is trying to form its own assistance program to promote a broader free and open Indo-Pacific infrastructure strategy. Australia openly challenges the principles framed, the principles which are used to frame the Belt and Road Initiative. And as far as the United States is concerned, the US Defense Secretary has suggested that no one nation should put itself into a position of dictating one belt, one road, which means they also oppose it. The conclusion of this article is that Beijing has already expressed its concerns and sadness over the emergence of the Quad Alliance and it will definitely see the moves, uh, any moves presented by the Quad Alliance as hostile. However, the author concludes saying that as more and more countries see China's moves as hostile and a dead trap, they might actually find Quads, whatever the Quad Alliance is offering as attractive and they might actually join the alliance. <laughs>